Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Unboxing and Stuff. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Takancha P3 electric trailer brake and the 3024-P Takancha cable adapter for a 2017 Dodge Eco Diesel. And we're going to actually go ahead and unbox this and then we're going to install it in the truck and then that's about as far as we're going to get in this video. So it's just going to be unboxing, what do you get, install it in the truck and we'll see how it looks in there. Uh, however, don't have a trailer here currently, so we won't actually be able to test it, so we'll do that in a later video. But let's go ahead and get this thing out of the box, and then we'll talk a little bit about the features. Okay, so we get uh, wiring instruction paper and uh, a user manual. Get a metal mounting bracket for the body. Get a plastic bracket, which looks like it would maybe give you the ability to take, slip it in and out. Get a cable plug, which looks like if you're going to hardwire this in instead of using an adapter, you could use that. Then we have the trailer brake itself, or brake control I guess would be more accurate. So there it is. Simple, clean look to it. Nice feel, everything feels like it's, you know, good quality. It's nice that it comes in a little case though, so if you take it out of your rig, you can actually safely put it in a case and store it. Or if you just take it off and just wanted to put it in your glove compartment or something like that, so that way it's not in plain view, less likely to get stolen. <clears throat> and then finally, we have like some sort of a warning along with a small handful of hardware and a couple of crimp adapters you know, if you're going to do a permanent hardware I assume. And then let's go ahead and get this out of the box, our adapter cable. Fairly simple. So this plug actually takes the place of this hardwired adapter and it's pre-set up to go into this Dodge pickup. And then we have a an insulation paper with the actual adapter itself. So let's go ahead and talk a little bit about the features and then we'll go ahead and move on to the install. The Takancha P3 is an electric trailer brake controller which can control anywhere from one to four axles. It has an easy to understand diagnostics and shows output current, battery, brake, and output voltage. It has a red flashing warning system that will alert users to no trailer brake situations. There are five storable settings for multiple trailers and drivers. This allows the user to switch between electric and electric over hydraulic brakes. It has a highly advanced, easy to understand roadside diagnostic feature. Easy access upfront controls. The original boost feature allows for different levels of customized braking, compact dash hugging design, unique, easy to use clip mounting system, has a quick disconnect for easy storage, and has a limited lifetime warranty. Okay, so the first step is we're gonna actually go in here underneath the dash in the Dodge. You can see this gray foam tape here, and then this is where our plug's actually gonna be. So we need to untape this here, and there's two plugs behind here. Okay, so you can see we got two plugs under here, a larger plug and a smaller plug. And the actual, the four prong plug is the one that we're gonna be taking our adapter and plugging it into. And remember, there's only two ends on this adapter. There's the, what's that, four pin side, and then there's the square four pin side that actually goes into our cable here. So you just take this, slide it up, and it snaps right into place. And then from here, what we can do is actually find where we're gonna mount our controller on the outside of the dash panel. So let's go ahead and move out here and I'll show you how the, I'm gonna do that. Okay, so the next step will be to actually mount our bracket. And there's actually two ways to do this. There's two separate brackets that come with the unit. There's the large bracket, which would be more for a permanent install. 
if you don't ever want to take it off. Then there's this the combo plastic piece and the small bracket, which you can actually mount here, just like so. And then this actually rests on the top of the unit. And then that actually allows you to pop the unit on and off as you desire. So if you wanted to put it away for the winter or if you just didn't want to have it out as a temptation for someone to break into your car, you could go ahead and remove it. So we decided to go with this bracket here for this rig. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take that small bracket and a Sharpie and I'm going to go ahead and get it lined up just the way I want it. And I got two holes there where I can actually drill a pilot hole. All right, then you just take your drill and make your holes and the marks. And be careful not to shove through very far. If you don't know what's behind here, you don't wanna pierce something. Just take it nice and slow. Okay, and then we're gonna mount our bracket. Be very gentle when you're going through here as well. You don't want to strip out the plastic by going in too hard. You might even do this by hand if you're not very comfortable using the the drill. Okay, so I got the one screw started over on this side. Side in. Okay, now I'm going to use the drill on this outer side. There we go, nice and sturdy. Now you can see here that the brake just pops in with the back end and just snaps right up. And then we want to remove it, just put the tabs and it comes right out. So the next step will actually be to plug the wire into the trailer brake. And that's easy, there's only one way it can go in. Plug it in there, you can see it lit up. Okay, and then the last step will be to dress the wire back up, side, up underneath and we're gonna throw a couple zip ties on it, that way it's not dangling down, can't get caught in your foot or anything like that. And then we're actually gonna take the foam and we're gonna wrap that back around that other connector that still is disconnected. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Okay, so I'm gonna take this foam tape and wrap it around the other connector that's still staying disconnected. Just tuck that back up in there. And then I'm gonna take this cable and fold it together and take a couple zip ties and get them started here. Okay, now we've got it safely tucked out of the way and the last step will be to just go ahead and clip the zip ties. All right, and then that's it for the install. So everything's tucked in nice and clean. And it's ready to go. So in the next video we do on this thing, we'll actually test it out, take it out for a couple rides, and uh, show you going through the menus and all the settings and everything like that. And uh, yeah, I'll let you know what I think of it at that point but for now it's looking pretty good so if you guys like the video 
go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Uh, this product will be linked down below in the affiliate link. If you guys are interested in getting one of these brake controls yourself, super easy to install. So on that front, I'm very happy with it. And then having it come with the exact, or having the ability to order the exact adapter cable for your truck makes it, you know, pretty stinking awesome. Super easy job. So, uh, so far so good. I do like it at this point. So go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already. Hit the bell if you want to hear of all my new exciting videos that come out. You'll be notified. And uh, you guys can check me out on Twitter as well. So I think that about covers it for this one. You guys have a good one. We'll catch you next time.